थ्री टू वन हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू टूडेज आस्क मी एनी थिंग सेशन इन दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू आंसर एनी एंड ऑल क्वेश्चन यू हैव अराउंड थिंक अप्रीन्योर बूट कैम्प वी आर नाउ ऑलमोस्ट डन विद वीक टू इट्स बीन ओवर फोर्टीन डेज सिंस यू स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट एंड सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू लर्न सो फार and for this to begin with um i just quickly like to share a quick overview of the week so far and then we can get into um the specific questions that we have so starting with week 1 we all learned some key digital skills that were there we had a bunch of sessions in which we had hands on learning activities and skills um different people came in and did sessions every day we learned skills like design simulation programming animation robotics and more um and essentially the idea of week 1 was that or as many skills more importantly that you would like to get ahead with the tinkerpreneur boot camp week 2 while focusing more on building a digital product still had components of learning these skills that when you actually start thinking about your digital product what are things or technologies or other processes that you could apply could your digital product adopt things from internet of things or could it adopt learning from machine learning and so on so the idea of for week 2 was to essentially take the existing skills you have and move them towards building a product um and i think for week 3 as we head towards it just a quick preview it's basically redefining digital products um and you know refining how we can get better so i have learned the skills required to build them you have learned what it takes to build a digital product now is the time to really go in and refine the product to the best of its ability to get it ready so that we can take it um, to the market launch it share it in the coming weeks um so with that with this quick overview of um things we have had before um this is where we are week 2 and this is where we are heading to week 3 we start with the first session with mr bhanu kota tomorrow at 11 am he'll talk to you about some of the fundamentals that you can adopt to building a digital skill so with that i'll start with some of the questions that we have received and i can answer them if you have any more questions please feel free to put them in the chat and we will take them up um the first question that i have is basically how do you submit your assignments so an assignment submissions if you remember from our last week's ask me anything session we did a quick walk through of the entire portal just log in and submit your digital um product the links for that the pdf whatever is required in the assignment you'll have a sheet that you can download which will give the details you need to submit in your assignment fill that sheet out convert it into a pdf and then just upload it um however while you are uploading an assignment there are a couple of keep in mind that will be helpful one if you are submitting the assignment as a team um there is just one assignment that's required to be submitted not all students have to be doing it differently um this is also since you're all using the same portal to learn and engage with tinkerpreneur so one assignment is only submitted um the second thing you need to keep in mind as you submit your assignment is that once it's submitted and say your mentor rejects it or gives you feedback to improve in such a case um right now there's no optionality to resubmit your assignment so what i would request you when you are improving or uh, resubmitting your assignment please reach out to your mentor offline um either via whatsapp groups mail or whatever is the preferred means of communication you have with your mentor and resubmit your assignment to them and they can keep a 
record of the new assignment that you have and as we work on ensuring that there's an option for resubmission also available um and if you continue to have issues submitting the assignment first time itself you can raise it on the internet portal and let your mentor know i think the most important um thing here would be to make sure that your mentor has this really through the portal but if that is not work please feel to feel free to send it to them directly um the second question that i have is can i use more than one skill to build my product um i want to use around six to seven skills is that okay it's absolute and the reason we've given you multiple skills is that you pick and choose the skill you need um to build the product that you'd ideally like think of it like a buffet and pick the things you uh, feel would be most relevant to your work um since the skill and the learning resources both on the portal plus on um, the youtube sessions will be available for you to access anytime i would say for now prioritize learning skills that would be important from your product perspective and later on once you're done with your product you can always come back and learn new skills just for fun or just to understand them better so um i would say with skills prioritize with product and then go around and have fun with as many as you'd like um the third question i have is um, So um, third question is also on the assignment, which is to say that there's a different assignment for each week. Do all need to be submitted? And the answer for that is yes. For each week, there is a specific assignment as well as a quiz. The quiz, you will get your result as and when you fill it on the spot. So that's like an instant process. And for the assignment as well, um, as soon um, each week, there's a new assignment based on what you're learning in that week. So to give you a quick overview, week one, you learned a few skills. So the assignment for week one was to talk about the skills that you picked up out of the um, entire buffet of skills that we have provided you. For week two, the idea was to really, um, you know, get to the product that you'll actually be building, uh, which will be a part of your digital venture through the course of Tinkerpreneurs. So the assignment for week two focuses on the digital product. The assignment for week three will focus on refining the digital product. Now that you have an idea and you know you have the skills to build the product, how do you make it better? How do you make it ready to take it out to the consumer that you have in mind? And just adding one more aspect to this, it is completely all right if your assignment is um, does not align directly with the week it could be possible that you submit the assignment for building your product, say, um, after Saturday or Monday when we've already started with week three. That's all right. In the learning curve is also a little higher. It can take some time. That said, we would very, very strongly encourage you to submit and do assignments as the week proceeds so that you're able to keep up and you don't miss um, too much on the learning component. Mm. So this is actually a really interesting question that I have. Will the product that I create be disqualified if the product is sold for free and I plan on earning revenue through advertisement? I think by the way, I would just like to congratulate to the group as well because this is one of the most interesting um, aspects of building products online. How do you choose to monetize that? There are multiple, multiple business rev uh, and revenue models that exist. One kind of business model that you see is basically ad run in which um, the user can go and use a digital product for free. And basically the company by showing ads to the user. So think, think of a lot of social media platforms that exist for free or a lot of other um, so tools where that exist for free, they essentially show you ads and then in turn are able to provide you that software or service for free. The other kind is that you pay money to use it. Now this payment of money could be one time, for example, you buy a book. 
you buy a digital book you pay the author whatever 300 250 rupees one time to buy the book and that's done that's the one time payment that's gone um but within payment there could also be an option of a subscription that is to say that um you charge a small amount every month in the product a very classic common example for this is say subscriptions to a lot of the ott platforms that exists like net uh, like netflix hotstar amazon prime where every month you pay certain a certain price or every year you pay a certain price to continue using their um, services. So um, you, uh, to answer your question simply that if you sell your product for free, is it okay? It's absolutely okay. Should you be following this revenue model? This is a question that we'll be covering um, in a specific week where we look at business models. So I'll park that for then. I think right now you should focus on making your product as perfect, actually not perfect, as good for the user as possible. And then we should think about revenue models um, thereafter. Um, the next question I have is, uh, how to create a database from where users can store and uh, extract information? How to make a product commercial? Um, I think some of the best entrepreneurs are people who solve problems they see around themselves. Um, some of the best entrepreneurs are people who solve problems for a few people, but solve them so well um, that it's very hard to compete with them. So I would say um, your database for users should be people around you. It could be people in your school, people in the place you stay, your family members, your friends or people you very closely observe and see that they face this problem, or this is something that would make their life better. And start with that, it could be five people, it could be 50, or it could be 500. But start by interacting and understanding these immediate users and building a product around it. I think the commercial aspects come slightly later when you have a basic idea of your product and how it would operate. Uh, um, I think for understanding what problem you're solving and for whom, and then we take on for five onwards when we look at marketing and building a business model. Um, the next question I have is will ADS, ADL give us a website where we will uh, put all our digital products? Um, so we will be highlighting some of the top. Um, digital ventures that come out of Tinkerpreneur. These include top uh, digital ventures from each state as well as nationally. So yes, we will be showcasing those, but for the purpose of this bootcamp, each student is expected to create their own digital store or a place from where they can sell their product. So that is also something you should be working on. We will also be amplifying it from our end. There is Again, a specific week in which we talk just about creating a digital store and what are the different ways you can approach it and what can you do um, just to give you a little bit sneak peek on what's coming. You, for a digital store, you can either choose to go independent, which is to say, create your own website and put your product there and then essentially market that website to make sure you get users and customers. The second way is to actually use platforms which are essentially aggregators, um, platforms which um, take digital products or even physical products for that matters from multiple sources and put them together. Um, for this thing of Flipkart, Amazon, Big Basket, even if you're creating, say, a ebook or digital um, collages or, you know, a on and teaching courses itself. So there are other sites depending on the category of your product exists and covering this in the week in which we focus on creating the digital product. But again, to answer your question, yes, absolutely. We will also have some place where we'll be showcasing these digital ventures, but you should also have a digital store for your product. Um, the Next question I have is, um, again, can we use a free product which is open? Absolutely, you can um, use a free, pro you can build a free product that's open to use. Um, you should still think about revenue and see how are the different 
ways you can but if you want to reserve and find other sources of revenue, absolutely, that's a great way to go. The next question is, um, can we use different apps to make the project for week two? Yes. So um, the software that uh, we have recommended in our sessions is typically open source material that you can find easily or is uh, or includes um, tools and softwares uh, from organizations that have uh, been a part of uh, Adil Innovation Mission. So these are only recommended. You are more than welcome to explore any software, any other tool, any other application as you wish. Um, but as you do this, please do consult with your mentor and um, ETL in charge to take their inputs, because depending on the software you have, there might be financial costs to use it. So um, again, that's a call you could take if you'd like to go uh, buy it or if your school has a license for it, please go ahead and use it. From our end, there is no restrictions on what software or what platform or what tools you can use for Tinkerpreneur. Mm. Okay, so I think some have PDF files for the assignment, and for this, um, there are a couple of things you can do. One, um, save it as a Word doc. Um, if you just simply Google or go on to whatever search browser you use and type convert Word document to PDF and do that, I think that helps. In some um, computers or laptops or phone, directly converting a word into a PDF sometimes shows errors. So that's one. That's step one. Step two would actually be to compress the file. Um, if your PDF file is too big, um, it is likely that it might not be uploaded too heavy. So um, I think for that you can um, just compress the file and then um, use it. I have a question. The next question I have is basically on object recognition libraries. So I would say for this, we had a beautiful session by a regional mentor of change, Mr. Sandeep. Um, if I'm not mistaken, his session was on Wednesday. So please go ahead um, and go through his session. There are, he was very kind enough to share a few links and a few uh, resources that can be referred to for this. Um, including, if I'm not mistaken, a library of um, ready-made object recognition. So go through that. If you still have a question, just put it in the chat there and we we'll request him to help you out. Or you can reach out to your mentor and ask him to put you in touch with Mr. Sandeep and that can be done. But his session is the place to be if you're looking for machine learning and object recognition. Um, the next question, I'm assuming this is from uh, ADL in charge, is of a mentor of change. Um, can you please help us with that? So I think I just like to take this opportunity to very broadly define the roles of different stakeholders that are involved with this, starting with the students. So I think the key role and responsibility of a student is to actually engage with the program, um, learn from the resources that are shared with them, both on the Tinkerpreneur portal as well as the YouTube Live. Um, the other uh, important aspect of student in Tinkerpreneur is to engage with your mentor and ETL in charge and other team members if you have them, and eventually to use the resources plus the support that you have to create a digital venture. Um, if you go back to the case of Dr. Chintan and a lot of other regional mentors of change, a key attribute that was highlighted over there was the fact that a lot of work, learning and progress in the 21st century is not about, um, you know, rote learning and memorization, but how you can actually use technology and all the resources that we have in the world to solve problems that people face today. And this bootcamp gives you a very great space to try that. And even connecting it to the amazing work a lot of the students have been doing in the marathon, you reach to the prototyping stage in your marathon with your ideas and your solutions. Here is an opportunity to really take it forward and build an entire business around it. The choice of making it for profit or not for profit is completely yours, but the journey of taking it from ideation and prototype 
to actually launching and growing is something that's very, very critical to learn as a student today. So for students, please make the most of everything that's been given to you and really immerse yourself in the thinkerpreneur experience. For the mentors, they have a unique opportunity to actually directly engage with students and mentor them through the process. So to give you guys specific things on what mentors of change is supposed to help with one, um, starting with creating a WhatsApp group, which I know most mentors have already done. So I don't need to repeat. WhatsApp group essentially becomes the primary mode of communication. Once the WhatsApp groups are created and there's a channel of communication, the three things in three important things that mentors need to help with is one hosting mentoring sessions. The frequency of this is something that the students and mentors and ATL in charges can collectively um, decide. We we would suggest at least once or twice a week. Mentors only do one on one with students. They can do group sessions with all the students assigned to them, um, depending on the schedule of students, considering some of them do have school. So this is part two. Part three is uh, actually going through um, the assignments and giving actual tangible feedback to the students. Um, Thinkerpreneur is not a theoretical ex exercise, it's a practical application. And for students to success, they need guidance and feedback that will help them understand how they should be. It could be around understanding their users, thinking about their product, making it better, launching it, setting up a digital store, what, whatever it might be. So the third critical task for mentors, in addition to just correcting assignments, is also giving them constructive feedback on making it better. I think assignment is just the medium through which they can really to provide the student the kind of guidance they would need to partake on such an adventurous journey. Um, moving on to the next question. Um, um, I want to build a mobile application. What software may I use? So there are a um, lot of there is on the Tingopreneur um, portal. Sorry, there is a list of resources that are given for mobile applications. In the coming week, we do plan on having a session on Plesmo, which is a software that you can use to build mobile applications. So you can join in on that session. Otherwise, in the meantime, please refer to the resources given on the Tingopreneur camp, and that is for you um, to start with. Um. There's a question on um, what is the assignment? So there aren't any specific deadlines um, for the assignments other than the final one, which is at the end of week nine, all students should have com should have submitted the complete pitch for their digital venture. Um, I think that's the only assignment which is time bound to the end of the bootcamp. Between the nine weeks, students have flexibility of choosing when they what assignment. Um, that said, we strongly encourage you submit one assignment every week so that you don't overwhelm yourself or leave too many things to the last minute and consistently learn and grow with each week. Um, I think the final question I have is my product is my website. How do I advertise it? Uh, we have a specific week on marketing and outreach for your digital product so that we will cover then. But in the meantime, um, see what your website is addressing, who your website is helping, and start by reaching out to them and talking, having them go through it. Get feedback. Week three is all about refining your product, and you should absolutely take this opportunity to do so. I think with that, I'll just quickly check on YouTube, YouTube if we have any more questions in the chat. And then um, the, other than that, I think so far I have answered all the questions that we have. And we can probably conclude today's session. Just give me a minute as I check. You don't need to make different products every week. You make one product and you go through that. You go with that product for the entirety of the nine weeks that we are there. 
So no multiple products, just one. And um, yeah, keep through it through the nine weeks. And that's why you know, just really spend time in this week that's coming up week three to really, really get your product at a good space. Uh, there's a question and I've not started making my product. What should I do? I would say um, it's completely all right if you haven't started. There's still a lot of time. Week three is anyways about refining the product. So in that case, I would say just um, take this week, take this weekend and really work on your product, um, get it started, and then you can keep improving it in the coming weeks. Um, I think some students might not have received feedback on their assignment. In this case, I would say that please give your mentors also some time. They're working professionals. So you can always send in a message to them to check by when um, you should expect um, the assignment. But other than that, just have a conversation. I think a very crucial part of learning for both mentors, but more importantly for students is how do you work and collaborate with other people, your mentor and um, being the person in point for this because as you go into your college life or work life the ability for you with good relationships and work well with others will become extremely extremely critical so i think you should use this opportunity of working with your mentors to really build on that um yes we do have a session on the plasma app that will come soon so stay tuned for that i see some questions about it um So I have an interesting question where someone asked me, I have a physical product. Can I um, put that product on my digital store and sell it? Yes, in that case, you should really use Stringerpreneur to build the digital presence of your physical product to do it. Um, there are some extremely iconic Indian brands that exist, which are actually physical products, but um, they have beautiful digital stores and outreach. And if you were to go and find them in a store offline or a store near your house, you wouldn't find them, but you'd only find them online. So yes, you may go ahead and although we encourage you to have a completely digital product and a completely digital venture. However, if you think it makes more sense for you to have a physical product and a digital store, you can do that. Um, this is a call you should make with your mind, uh, make in discussion and uh, with feedback from your mentor, and then you can proceed uh, with how you'd like to go. I see a question from a mentor. Let me just quickly read it. Um, so there is a question on that there are different kind of students, rabbits and tortoises in a group with different skills and how can they learn from each other? I think, sir, that's an absolutely important question. Students must learn from each other, even though they build independent projects. Um, so for that, I would say that one easy way is that the mentors can maybe create accountability partners or peers um, who can so that even though students work on their different projects, they can support each other and do it um, together. So yes, absolutely, that's um, something that mentors can decide based on their group and group dynamics. Um, so there's a question on can uh, students who don't have laptops participate in the coming weeks? Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, all our session, our YouTube sessions can be very easily accessed from a mobile phone. Um, so can the Tinkerpreneur website. Although you might have some challenges in building out uh or building out your digital product, but for that, if possible, you could try get getting access to a laptop or a computer maybe one for one or two hours in a week to do that. But all your learning resources and guidance will be available to you very easily via your mobile. Yes, there's a question on in the mentoring session, um, Mr. Kiran Kumar had showed us a timetable that he had given his students. Can we follow that? Absolutely. And I know there are a few students, and this is even for the ATL in charge, there are a few students who um, have issues or difficulty getting in touch with their mentors and at the moment don't have mentors to guide them. For them, uh, we host a Tinkerpreneur mentoring hour every week. 
um, starting this week, uh, we've already had the first session with Mr. Kiran and the next session happens this weekend again. So you must absolutely join in on the session that Mr. Kiran hosts and please feel free to, uh, to follow the advice, guidance and suggestions that he shares. Um, he has done a phenomenal job in training his students and it's an absolute pleasure learning um, from him. So you should do that. And for your assignments for students who have trouble with their mentors map, uh, someone from the AIM team will be helping you review your assignment. The details with, for that will be communicated to you next week. But that's something we know and we've taken into account. And to start with, we have these mentoring hours with Dr. Mr. Kiran, and we'll also be helping providing you additional support for your assignments. Um, okay, I don't see any other new question. I'll just wait for 10 more seconds and then maybe we can wrap up the ask me anything session. Um, oh, yes, there will be a session on how to build your website and online store. Um, let me just, um, So um, there's a question on how would um, the money come to us after building a product. So uh, for Tinkerpreneur, we don't really need you to actually uh, want you to understand the mechanics of it, understand what are the different revenue models that exist. But Tinkerpreneur, if you do choose to go down and actually um, in your product, then there are different financial tools and uh, systems that you can use. Um, to get money transferred um there will be a specific session on that i'm not the best person to answer those questions but there are multiple tools and companies that um provide you these resources and provide these uh, this guidance to do and they will tell you about specific things that you can adopt um there are multiple forms of payment that you can take up and um you can do it um just one second i'm actually sharing my screen to yeah so if you can see my screen now you'll be basically see the outline for all the nine weeks that we have for entrepreneur starting with learning a digital skill then building a digital product, which we just completed. And now we are going on to uh, basically refining the digital product. After that, there are still six more weeks. So students, mentors, teachers, this is not a sprint, but a marathon. Um, so week four will be creating your business model. Five is digital marketing. Six is setting up an online store. Seven is business finance. Eight, launching your product. And nine is finally pitching it. So um, each of these things in each of these weeks will be covered with utmost detail and um, support. This similar infograph would also be available on the Tinkerpreneur website. So please feel free to go in there and check it out and um, you know plan your learning accordingly. But uh, don't worry, each of these components will be covered in detail. You don't need to worry about that. Um, just for now, um, Focus on your product, obsess about your product, and try to make it as perfect as possible. If nothing else, you have 10, 15 students who are there with you in your team and your mentor. Start by asking them for feedback. Ask them how they feel about it and take it forward. Um, I think that's uh, all I can see for questions. Some of these questions that are coming in the chat right now have already been answered, so for them, for the students and mentors asking um, those questions right now, once this the live ends, please go ahead and go back and go through these, uh, go through the questions that I've answered, and you'll find um, whatever you're looking for. Um, and yeah, I think with that, I'd just like to thank. You. Okay, fine. I'll take one last question. I just saw. I think this is uh, important. Uh, so. Uh, one question is, uh, I'm unable to understand how to get us started with the assignment for week two. So the assignment for week two is actually just talking about your products. 
you've learned a bunch of skills over the last few uh, days now. Now you need to put those skills together to create a product. The idea of this product is that it either solves a problem for a potential user, it helps a potential user, or it uh, improves the quality of life for a user. So wherever or whichever category of product falls in, you just basically need to do that. It's not too late. You still have a lot of time to do it. So take the next few days and do it. You're not late at all. This is there, there's no hurry. There's no worry about that. Um, and there's a question on, um, can you explain more about the competition? So essentially at the end of Tinkerpreneur, we'll be reviewing all the final pitches that are submitted about the digital ventures. These pitches would also include a small showcase of um, the digital products um, and ventures that the student have built. And we'll be picking up some of the top uh, digital ventures from different states as well as nationally. So that's essentially all that's there at the end. And um, the assignment for week three would just be your the submission of your refined product. So again, just go through the assignment page and you will find uh, the details you need to submit for your assignment. And I think that's all. Thank you everyone for joining in. We will be doing another similar session next week as well. So if you have questions, then you can send them in and I'll do my best to cover all of them as possible. Otherwise, please write to your mentors and they'll be there to help. We are in touch with all your mentors and we keep answering all questions that they have. So if you also have them, please write to them and they'll be there to help you. Um, thank you. And I'll in the first session for week three at 11 a.m.